Today my brother is teaching me how to weld up some metal legs. Thank you, no problem. Hey guys, how's it going? So, my metalworking knowledge is fairly limited, and since you need quite a bit of specialized equipment to be able to do a whole lot with it, it's something that I haven't had a whole lot of opportunity to work at. I remember back when I was 12 or so, my other grandpa, who was a journeyman welder, tried to show me and my brother how to do it, and I couldn't get the hang of it at the time. My brother Jordan, however, took to it like Matt promoted a crotchwood, and is now a journeyman welder himself. So, back in the summer, I asked him to get some material ordered for me and headed out to the family farm for a couple hours of welding. Since I already had the design worked out, we started with setting up a workbench out of our old childhood wagon and an old plywood actual barn door that was sitting there, set up the metal chop saw, and got cutting. And here is where all of the dogs tried to team up and take me out. Damn it, Bowser. Pete. With the pieces cut out, I grabbed the angle grinder and started to deburr the cuts, but apparently I was going too slow for Jordan and he took over. Also, I think I'm going to stop buying my brother tools for gifts since he doesn't use them. What do you have for squares? I was going to ask if you brought any. I brought a square. Didn't I give you a bunch of red angle magnets? That's actually how I got my drill press. He got it as a Christmas gift and it sat in the box for three years. So I took it. He knows he just has to say the word and I'll give it back, but I've had it for two years now, so yeah, I think it's mine now. But moving on. Now that I have the first pieces squared up, Jordan got the welder set up and adjusted whatever that was set the ground, and tacked the first corner. Then I took over for a bit, and I'll just leave you with that for a bit since there was a fair bit of instruction jumbled in there. Hold on to this, just so it doesn't go anywhere. More so directly. Okay. And just a little, little stretch. There you go. There you go. And just a little more, uh, usually once your arc is established, don't try to avoid, just keep it. Okay, what do you mean when you, like well, this? Yeah. Okay, so don't do what I was doing. Yeah, no, your rod is swinging all over the place. When you're trying to put a tack in, you just hold it there for a brief, moment, brief two seconds. Gotcha. There you go. And here I'd recommend, just because it's easier access, tack here, and another one right there. Now 
Mine your arc got too long. So I did this one to start. Looks like sh And Jordan showed me what to do on this one. It looks better. I did this one. Doesn't look too bad. Then I did this one and it's uh... I left a big booger of weld over here. Other than that, it's good, I guess. What's your opinion? Better than some apprentices I've seen. All right. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Down, 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 down. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Once we had the first leg assembled and welded together, we attacked it with the wire brush to clean it up a bit, and then swapped over to a grinding disc to level out the welds a little bit more. Then to cap off the open legs, we cut out some tabs out of a scrap piece, and this is where I tried to get a little bit more artistic with my camera work, and ended up embedding molten metal into my lens filter which for 10 bucks I think was a worthy investment to protect the camera lens. With the tabs cut out, we welded them onto the bottom of the leg and ground the welds flush as well. At this point I realized I only had about 20 minutes of battery left, so I left the second leg completely in Jordan's capable hands. And he did the last hour and a half of work in about 15 minutes. And for the most part it went fairly well, up until this point. Oh, you burned right through? Nope. Hmm. Shut up. I just said, hmm. That's all I said. But I thought he was a professional welder. You didn't hear that, did you? Nope. What did you say? I said, I thought he was a professional welder. Oh, you're just using that as material? Yeah. Oh, now I know not to go that way again. With that taken care of and the rest of the welding wrapped up, we again attacked it with the angle grinder and we were done. Last thing was to load it up and head back home. And then back in my shop, I rubbed them down with some acetone to clean them up a little bit. So, now that the legs are done, you might be asking me what these were for. Well, they were actually for the butcher block countertop I built and then destroyed in the last video, which if you haven't, scene you can check that out up here. I built these before I decided to end that particular project so at the moment they are just sitting in the corner of my shop but when I eventually get around to rebuilding the countertop they will be used then. And with that I doubt I'll ever be a journeyman welder but if I ever see a cheap welder at a garage sale or something I might be more willing to pick it up. Or at the very least I can head out to the family farm with a load of metal and stick something together with some pigeon <laughs> be good. Thank you to my brother Jordan for putting up with me for a couple hours and showing me the ropes. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. So thank you all for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more up-to-date projects, you can follow me on Instagram at John the Shriner. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video, and have a good one. Oh, and I just wanted to point out, I'm the older brother. I think I've aged much more gracefully.